Hey everyone, Mike here from Altona Painting. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how to wash brushes and rollers. So you might be wondering, why am I not at the sink? Well, the first thing you do before washing out brushes and rollers is you pour out all your paint cans, all your cut cans back into the, the regular gallon. So this is the gallon for the color we were just using. So we've already poured out our cut cans. And then your next step is to wring out the paint from the rollers, because you'd be amazed at how much paint comes out of the rollers. Okay, so you do this for a couple of reasons. One, you don't need to put perfectly good paint down the drain as you're washing. Two, it makes washing go by a lot faster. And three, if you need just that extra little bit of paint to finish the job, you'd be amazed at how much paint comes out of these rollers. Okay, so you, I just bring it out, uh, I just turn it like 90 degrees each time and then bring it. And then that's good for this one. And then I'm just gonna do the second one here and then you'll see me back at the sink. Okay, so we wrung out the roller and now we're at the sink. I'm just gonna put on lukewarm water and the objective is to wash as much paint out of the brushes and the rollers as possible uh, because you don't need paint drying in the brushes and rollers. What happens, if, what happens is if you leave too much paint, then they get all crusty and unusable and you can't reuse brushes and rollers, so you're just wasting money on material. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing I do, I've got my trusty teeth here. So I just finish wringing, I just wring it out a few more times under the top. Okay. So this just speeds up the washing process. And then the next thing I do, once I've wrung it out a few times, or several times now with the teeth, with the circle part here. I, it's basically like a squeegee, right? I just pull off the head. And before I finish washing the head, I always wash the handle. Because the last thing you need is uh, paint dripping from your handles as you're walking through a client's house. So just get all the wet paint off. Okay, so now the handle is nice and clean. There's no paint dripping off this. Just gonna hang it here for a sec. Okay, so now as I'm washing the roller, I have my thumb inside the tube because that's where wet paint likes to lurk. So I'm just rinsing that out. I'll turn it over, rinse it out there. And once I feel that's clean, I'm just gonna use my hand as a squeegee and just turn the roller repeatedly, squeezing with my left hand, and I'll turn it around, I'll do the middle of the roller, and I'll do this end of the roller, and the water should look virtually clear by the time you're done, okay? So this, this is good to go, I'm gonna squeeze it out one more time, okay, I'd say we're good to go there. What you do is uh, you should have a towel or a rag here, which we forgot to do, <laughs> but we'll wipe it off after. Okay, just keep your stuff there while you're washing. Now doing the brushes, the brushes is very easy. The brushes are very easy to wash. You just first wring, wring them out. So I'm just like pushing down, the, working the paint out of the brush. Okay, once I do that for, you know, like, 10 to 20 seconds, get bulk, get a bulk of the paint out. Then you can see there's all this paint that's dried to the top, top of the bristle, right? So that's what you don't want getting all hard and crusty on you. So that's where the teeth come in. Just file the bristles through the teeth a few times. So turn the brush around, do the back side, do both left and right side and then you do the front side with the tip this helps make sure that like if you're trying to scrape paint off the, br the bristles 
Um, it's kind of like ribbon when you're doing gift wrapping. If you push too hard on the bristles, they'll fray out and the brush becomes useless, right? So now this is almost clean. All I'm gonna do is just manually with my hands, I'm just gonna squeeze out any remaining paint. You can see there's like still a decent amount there. It, it all gathers in the base. So I'm just gonna rinse it a couple times, squeeze it out. And that, same as the roller head, you just wanna make sure there's no more or as minimal paint as possible coming out of it. And this is good to reuse. Yeah. So that's how you wash brushes and rollers. All right, everyone, so this is the final step. What you're gonna do is just hit all the water out. So with the brushes, you just literally, like you're directing an airplane at the airport, just <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing, nothing fancy to it. Okay, so. This is pretty dry. In the summertime, you can leave this to sit out, or in the winter, you throw it on the client's bed. Uh, just don't put your brushes away super wet, because what happens is if you put them away wet in the box, then they get all moldy. All right, so you don't want moldy brushes. Okay, so now I got the roller on the, sp on the uh, brush spinner, and you're gonna be amazed at how much water comes out of this. That's nice and dry now. Give that to my camera lady. All right, last thing is the, the head. Just gonna get that out. Not much water comes out of this. Now, the only other thing worth mentioning with the washing is that you wanna do what I just did outside away from things that uh, you don't wanna get paint on, okay? So like if you're at a client's house, just on their lawn somewhere or in a bush or, some inconspicuous area because if you still have paint left in the roller or the brush and you do what I just did and it flies onto their car or it flies onto their patio or uh, if you're in a condo I would advise doing what I just did into a garbage bag or like right into the sink because uh, you don't need to be over the, the railing and spraying paint, painty water onto uh, to glass because we've done that and uh, that was not fun to clean up. 16 floors up. <laughs> Other than that, that's how you wash brushes and rollers. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you learned something new and gained value from that. Feel free to check us out on social media at Altona Painting on Facebook and Instagram to see some of our most recently completed projects. Also, check out our website, altonapainting.com to see our full portfolio and learn more about us. If you're in the greater Toronto area and you're looking for a painter who values quality and professionalism, hit us up. Or if you know someone who is looking for a painter, pass our name along. Lastly, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more instructional painting videos.